All right, next I'm gonna show you how to post content to a WordPress site. So the first thing you need to do here is in your settings, so you gotta to go to settings, and then select WordPress logins. So once you go here, what you wanna do is add in your WordPress site. Now, before you do this, so you have to do something within your WordPress site in order to get the proper app password. So we can put a label. So I've actually logged into my Script Atlas WordPress site. And what you wanna do is go to users. So this is a clean install with very little stuff in here. So go to users and go to profile. And this will only work for later versions of um, WordPress. I'm not sure what version they added this to, but if you do not see this, you'll have to update your version of WordPress. Well, now that I think of it, why don't we ask ChatGBT what version of WordPress has the application password feature? So it looks like 5.6. So if your WordPress version is less than 5.6, then you probably won't have the application password feature, so you'd probably want to update your WordPress site. And you'll see at the bottom, application password. So I'm gonna create one called Script Atlas, and click Add New Password, and this will be the actual password we need to put in there. So what we do is we grab this, and we copy it, Control C, and then we put it into here, control V. And we need to put our username that we use to log in. And for me, it's just admin. And we need to give the, the website address of where my WordPress site is installed. This is very important or else it won't work. So my WordPress site is located right at scriptatlas.com. So I'll just do that. Sometimes you may have, for example, you might have forward slash blog. If you have your WordPress installed in a subdirectory of blog, you gotta put that there. Or a subdomain, like say it's blog.scriptatlas, you gotta make sure you know where it is installed. And that's where you have to put the, um, the link here. So once you do that, then just create a label. So I'll just call it Script Atlas Blog and click Done. And now it's added. Click Apply. And let's go back to here and let's post to our blog. And just before we do that there, I do want to mention one thing that one of these images was loaded from our computer, which is a little bit different inside the HTML code. So let me just explain here. So I go to View Source here you will see that the first image is actually a link. As you can see here, it's a, it's a link pointing to where it's located on the internet. Now, since the other one we loaded from our computer, it actually saves it as a base 64 data string. So this is like the image represented as kind of like text, like a data text, but it's encoded. Now, the, the thing is, you can see it's actually massive. It's a lot of data. So you can't actually just post this kind of data directly to WordPress. So behind the scenes, what's gonna happen here is the software will automatically detect that this is a data string and then convert it to a real image and save it on your computer and then upload it to your media folder inside of your WordPress site. So let me just bring up my site again. So inside the media section here, it will upload it to, to here and then use the link. So. Let's go ahead and do that and you'll see what I mean. So we're gonna need a title. So I know I'm gonna use this as a title and I actually want to delete this because it'll kind of show up twice in the post. So I'm just gonna go like this and just delete that. So I copied that on using my Control C my keyboard. So I'm gonna go to WordPress and you'll see here post title. So I'll paste that there. Now the first thing you gotta do is you gotta select the site you want to connect to. So we're going to do the script atlas one and it goes and connects. Now, one cool thing is you can add categories and tags um, to your actual blog post. So if you've got any categories or tags, you can do it here, which is really simple. Let's see, oh yeah, I do have one category there I created, but we can just, to create a category, you can just go like here and just say like 
say marketing is a category then you can add add it like that and if you want to do a tag ebook or something like that I don't know whatever you use for your keyword tags go ahead and add it like that and once it's done there it adds it to the your website now you can go ahead and select what you want you can do multiple categories and multiple tags and so once it's done you select the status to being published or if you want to draft um, you want to allow comments or not and then all you do is a click post to WordPress and it's gonna give you a little thing here saying look one of your images is represented as encoded data if you want to continue with uploading the images those images to your media library just go ahead and click yes to continue so we'll do that you see it's uploading an image then posting to WordPress then automatically go right to that post and you can see that everything worked so now it's posted and I don't have like a fancy theme on this WordPress site so obviously if you got a nice theme it look a lot nicer and you can see here this link that we created in there works it was just pointing to Google now if we go back here and take a look at our posts we're gonna see it here now you can go in and edit it but I also want to show you in the media it uploaded that file and it just gives it its own sort of name it just gives it a number so one thing you can do is you could actually you know upload the image to your WordPress and give it a, a nice name or something like that then to get the link the link is right here so you can just like right click um, I don't know if there's a select all well, I guess there isn't so go control A on your keyboard or command A on Mac and then control C to copy that and then when you're over in here to add that image you could you could just go insert image and then you just stick the link right here so that's another way to do it so you can manually put the images in your WordPress site and add them in that way or just realize that when you upload it and you have one of these encoded uh, just basically one of these images you you put in here from your computer just realize that, that the software is going to automatically upload those to your media folder inside your WordPress site and to upload an image to your WordPress site is actually pretty simple so just in the media section there you just click on add new and you can select a file or you can actually just drag and drop them right in and I don't know here's an image here let's say we throw it in here and there's the image and so like I mentioned before you can just grab the link like that and then add it in just like we did that's how easy it is to do it manually if you don't want to have the, the uh, software post it so that's basically how easy it is to post content to your WordPress site and there's no limit or anything of like that so you can have unlimited WordPress sites um, inside the software that you want to connect to you can upload unlimited posts so there's no limitations or anything like that with the software so it's very very simple and that's pretty much it for this particular video I just wanted to show you how you can easily connect script atlas to your WordPress sites and post unlimited content